Concatenation is a fancy word for adding strings together, placing one string after another. I've created an application in C-sharp, and I have a text box that I've named TXT name, and another text box named TXT campus, and we're going to let the user enter their name and, and their campus in each of those text boxes. Then they're going to click this button called VTN Sign In, and it's going to take the values that they placed and concatenate those into a string for output to this label called LBL Output. Let's take a look at the code for the button. So here's my procedure. I am declaring two variables, my name and my campus, as string data type variables. I'm going to take the value that is in the txt name text box, the text property, and place that into the variable called my name. And do the same thing for my campus, placing the value that's in the text property of txt campus. And then for our output label, I'm going to set the text property to a literal string of hey with a comma and a space. And then I use the plus sign. The plus sign is the addition operator, but it also serves as the concatenation operator in C sharp. So I'm going to add to that little string of hey, comma, space, the value of my name. And I'm going to add to that another literal string that's in quotes of an exclamation mark, a space, and welcome to, and a space. And then I'm going to add to that the value of my campus. And I'm going to add to that a literal string with a period. Now it's important to note that I put some spaces in here. If I didn't put the space after the comma, we would see my name run up right against the comma. Same with I want a space after the two. But let's test this and see what it does. So I have a value of John Doe in the enter name and South Mountain Community College in the enter campus text box. I'm going to click the sign in button. And in the output label, it says, hey, John Doe, welcome to South Mountain Community College. So I put together four, actually five different strings, a little string of hey, comma, space, the value from the name text box, a little string of exclamation, welcome to, and then the value from the campus text box. And then finally, I added a period. So five different things being concatenated together. We could do the same thing for a message box. So I can add a message box dot show command and I could place the same values as my prompt and then do a comma and add in the title for the message box. And I will test it. And so, once again, it puts the values into the label, but I'm also adding in this text box with the same prompt and a welcome title. Let me show you one more way to do this. And sometimes it's easier to build your strings as a separate variable. So I'm going to add another variable. I'm going to call it prompt. And I'm going to add a value of prompt equals a exclamation space quote literal string. And I'm going to use that unary operator of plus equals. And we're going to add to the prompt the value of my name. Then I'm going to add to that a little string of exclamation mark, welcome to space, quote, and we'll add to that, I'll do this one a little bit differently, and I don't have to use a variable, I could use txt campus.txt property, because that is a string value, 
And I can also concatenate within these values on the right. I could add my period here. And then in the label, I'm going to replace the string simply with, with the variable of prompt. And I'll do the same thing here in the message box. And now let's test. So I sign in. I get the same thing in the label, my output label that I got before. And here is our message box using that prompt string variable.